welcome Dr. Green. So back to your micro internships. Yeah. So so it's a it's a great experience. I've I've seen I've seen it since success. And here's what here's what we do. That I think is different. Uh, the micro interns are embedded in my embedded in the classroom. What makes that different is because a lot of times we make a lot of assumptions. We make assumptions that they're digital, they're digital natives. Uh, they're young. And a lot of times companies say, "Well, you're the youngest one on the staff. We're gonna put you over social media," and they don't know what they're doing. They don't they don't mm -hmm. know everything. Mm -hmm. And it's other, it's the other thing that in the classroom I'm able to talk about professionalism. I'm able to I'm I'm over a span of ten weeks. I I really don't want to send a student out. I'll be honest with you. That don't have that is not prepared. I don't just want to send them because they don't know how to dress. They make certain assumptions that they you know that the that they can wear shorts. That they can wear hat in the in, in, they they can wear hat in in a business. That they can dr uh, dress up and they can come to an interview dressed very poorly in warm ups. Mm -hmm. No, nope. you know that has been caused because we don't have the same kind of training in the home. Uh, right. They don't go to churches or synagogues. They don't do that anymore. A mosque, and so they don't have that rigor. And so for me, uh, I have transformed. I think. Maybe 50, 50, I do my lectures about 15 minutes. They say, oh, Dr. Green, that should be longer. That should be, it's because you know what? You're saying you want a 50, you want a 50 minute lecture. You're not even paying attention. Right. It's because what, I, what I've transformed innovative teaching, because now I've shifted from just not teaching, I am coaching and mentoring my students. Each okay. week, I, that yeah. is very important. I say, you know what? That is improper. This is the way you need to write that. Even, even send an email out to a potential employer. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm glad you're going to be partnering with us. But a lot of times, students would say, "Hey, hey, hello," <laughs> or not even address the person. Uh -huh. I say, "Look, you know." And, and then maybe when you're trying to to Dr. Green, I was trying to meet. I was trying to meet up with my client. I can't get in contact with them because they'll text them or they'll or they'll send they'll call them on the phone and they'll hang the phone up if they don't answer it answer it they don't leave a message and yeah. so i had so that situation is... i had that situation happen in, in class and here's i'm an old school professor so i had we i think it was like maybe 15 students in the class a couple students complaining dr green we have been unable to reach our client our client i say really i said well hold on let me get my phone i say uh bill uh they've been trying to reach you and I gave them the phone. They were so embarrassed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> but it so, demonstrate it demonstrated right. that these that are basic, some, these are basic work, yes. yeah, work skills, right? Yeah. That college students don't have. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm saying right. these, 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 some of the students of, of some of the elite students, I'm just saying we just take as 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 educators, we're taking those things for granted and we're leaving the students in a bad situation right. because they don't have some of the basic social skills that's going to make up it's out of our relationships